Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very amazing problem. Very recently I framed it, I gave it in uh, one of the revision classes of CHAMPS. So it is moving beads on elliptical frame. So here is a problem statement, two beads of mass uh, small m and are projected with initial velocity v0 on an elliptical wire of mass capital M. The entire system is placed on a smooth horizontal surface. At some instant of time, the two beads are about to collide with each other. And then we have to find the speed of each beat just before the collision, worked in by the frame on each beat till this instant, and normal reaction acting on each beat just before the collision. So third part is very, very important and not many people can think of uh, this part. First one is very standard problem. I think uh, you will see such type of question in uh, circular uh, wire frame and all. And second is also slightly tricky but uh, students can solve but third one is uh, like uh, very few people are able to solve uh, so let's start here and for simple calculations here i have used a small m is equal to capital m because uh, the calculations were going uh, slightly off track uh, so here you can uh, see at the time when these beads are about to collide you will see that it will be having it will be moving in this direction and it will be moving downward Similarly, this bead will be moving in horizontal direction and this will be moving in upward direction. And this frame itself will be moving in right side direction due to uh, the normal reaction between the beads and the elliptical wire frame. So here I can say that conservation of linear momentum must be valid because there is no external force and whatever force is there that is the normal reaction between the beads and frame. So initial uh, linear momentum of these two beads is 2mv0 and finally it is m plus, uh, 2m plus m0 uh, times v. So this horizontal velocity will be known to you because they are touching so they must have equal velocities here. And uh, if m is equal to capital M I take, I am getting v is equal to 2v0 by 3. The next part we can use energy conservation in order to find the beads velocity. Bead's velocity is actually speed of the bead is root of v square plus v1 square and there are two such beads so I can write in energy conservation that initially energy of one bead there are two such and similarly finally energy of bead I can write in this manner half m total speed is square so speed is root of v1 square plus v square and double of that and energy of the frame half m v square. So now I'm using small m is equal to capital M. So when I substitute these values, I'm getting velocity of bead, the net velocity of bead. Uh, this value I'm calling as VB. I'm getting as root 7 by 3 V naught. So this is one of the answer here for first part. Now from here, I can calculate this individual uh, components values also. This horizontal component is known to us. Let's calculate this vertical uh, component. So VB square is V square plus V1 square. If I use this and uh, substitute the value of uh, V, which is 2V0 by 3. So 4 by 9, it will come. And here if I simplify, I'm going to get this V1 as V0 by root 3. So once I know this value, I can just simply write uh, work done by the frame on the bead. Uh, I can simply write it as a change in kinetic energy of the bead. You can see here on these beads, this normal reaction will be acting in uh, this manner on the beads. So negative work done we are expecting. Let's see. Uh, now here W net is equal to change in kinetic energy. All right. So you can see here uh, half mvb square. That is velocity of bead I'm taking here minus half mv naught square. Initial kinetic energy of bead I have to consider. I'm calculating on each bead. So only once. I'm not taking the factor of 2 here. When I substitute the values, I'm getting W net is equal to minus mv naught square by 9. Now this was expected because uh, the force direction and displacement, they make uh, obtuse angle. All right, so this is the answer we are calculating. Now here uh, also people are able to think and uh, many people could answer it. This third part, very few were able to answer in the class. Uh, normal reaction acting on uh, the bead, I can write uh, with respect to frame uh, if I solve here. So around this part, near this point, 
पार्टिकल विल बी डूइंग सर्कुलर मोशन ऑफ इन द रेडियस ऑफ दिस आर सी एट दिस पॉइंट विच इज बी स्क्वायर बाई ए इट्स अ कैलकुलेशन आई हैव डन इन मेनी क्लासेज ऑल्सो एंड इवन इन द चैनल्स वीडियोज यू विल सी एंड इट्स अ स्टैंडर्ड रिजल्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स टू रिमेंबर दिस रिजल्ट एंड यू मस्ट नो हियर this is like a square by b and we use the these concepts in uh, sur- uh, in surface tension chapter also so now uh, on the frame due to this uh, these two beads total normal reaction is 2n so acceleration of frame at this particular instant is 2n by m right now when i observe with respect to frame i am going to see one force as uh, this n and relative to this uh, v and v will get cancel so i will see this bead to be moving in a circular path of rc with speed of v1 and this pseudo force also will come into picture m times acceleration of frame and frame remains in this orientation because uh, of symmetry so now i can write n plus ma frame is equal to m v1 square by rc when i substitute these values i am getting n as mv not square by 9 rc because v1 is v0 by root 3 so here v0 by 3 it will come and now when i substitute the rc value <coughs> this will become m a v0 square by 9 b square and this is going to be the final answer for this problem and it's a quite a tricky problem uh not very easy i won't ca- call it very easy but uh, within uh, j advanced domain and such problems are very optimistic problems in my opinion for j advanced so guys here uh, there is this uh, unlock 20 uh, you will be getting 20% off on your uh, subscription of uh, an academy and this offer is valid only till today only till today it will be valid here so just uh, those who want to utilize this they can use and you can use my code nitin sir for uh, getting this subscription and uh, on the next uh, an academy prodigy exam is on 6 february 10 am onwards and uh, you can uh, win lot of uh, scholarship including 20 lakhs rupees of college grant now this is like uh, this will be really huge if you are able to get this kind of scholarship here uh, for uh, this you can enroll for free uh, by using my code nitin sir and uh, there are uh, exciting rewards in every test you can have macbook air and uh, apple ipad these are the two devices like which i am very fond of phone i find a lot of distraction and these uh, things are a lot of dis- distractions but uh, macbook and uh, ipad they are like really they make you creative and along with that there are a lot of scholarships so that's it in this video guys i hope you are able to understand this problem and uh, very soon on the channel more and more problems you will see and uh, some more plans of insp also i'll disclose in uh, in the coming days so thank you thanks for watching this video